What's up everybody? Today we're going to perform a quick circuit style workout. We're going to start with a warm up and then we're going to go right into some power and strength training. Okay, so it's 1110 right now. We're going to perform a 20 minute workout and we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is get down on our mat in our hands and knees position. What we're going to do is first round the back out, tuck the chin into the chest. And then extend the back, look up, round the back, extend the back. Then from here, we're going to push our hips up to downward dog. We're going to pedal the feet one knee at a time. Just focus on your breathing here. If that's too much on the wrist, you can always go down to the forearms. If you want to try the forearm variation, it's a nice stretch. If you push through the ground, you'll feel that in your lats. From here, we're going to widen the feet and knees. Reach through with the thumb up. Look up toward the sky. And then switch side. From here, we're going to point those toes, bring our elbows down, and then reach for the opposite of chest and rotate toward the ceiling in this thoracic rotation stretch, and then switch. From here, we're going to go hands and knees and going to reach with the opposite arm and opposite leg and hold for about 10 seconds and just focus on your breathing. Try to get the arm and leg parallel with the ground and straight. Go ahead and switch side. Just look straight down at the ground. Focus on your breathing. Then from here, we're going to kneel. We're just going to rock side to side, giving our quads a nice stretch. Going back to our inhales and our exhales. From here, we'll step one foot forward, we'll widen the stance. We'll lunge forward and go back to that half kneeling position. And then switch side after about three times. And then we're going to bring both hands down, bring the back knee off the ground. And the hand that's furthest away from the foot is going to stay on the ground. The hand closest to the foot is going to reach up toward the sky, hold, hand back down, foot back, step forward, back knee off the ground, rotate open. From here, back knee down, it's going to widen those knees, point the toe, and then we're going to Extend one leg out, we're going to rock back, we're going to try to have our posture straight back if possible, we're trying to round forward, and then switch side after about four rocks, then from here we're going to move to the stomach. Gonna reach overhead. We're gonna tuck those toes into the ground, and then we're gonna bring those thumbs up. Then from here, we're just gonna reach up overhead as far as possible, and then relax. Again, reach all the way up, and then relax. Then from here, one hand underneath the forehead. Gonna reach one arm up, 
reach back, hold it in the air, try to hold the hand above your glutes for five seconds, and then back to the front, and then switch side, up, all the way back behind the glutes, hold it for five, And then back to the front, arm overhead from here. We're just going to reach overhead and then pull down. Reach overhead and then pull down. Push into the ground, hands and knees. Then from here, we're just going to push your body toward and away from the ground using the scapula and just kind of round it up. All right, now we're about six minutes in, so we're completed with our stretching. Now we're going to start our dynamic warm up. We're going to start by pulling one knee to the chest and pointing the bottom toe into the ground. Two on each side, now we're going to go leg cradle, we're going to reach for the knee and the ankle, pull it up toward the chest. Okay, now we're going to go for a quad, heel to butt, reach forward, stretch. So we're going to touch the toes, walk the hands out to a push-up, walk the feet forward, the knees straight, and then stand up. One more. Okay, from here, we're going to go with a single leg reach, feet are under the hips or sorry, feet are together, and we're going to reach forward on one leg and try to get in line with the ground, making a straight line from the hand to the foot. Try to get the inside, big toe down. Going for about three, four, or five reps on each side. Okay, now we're gonna go with wide legs, toes forward. We're gonna bend one knee, keep one knee straight, and then switch. And then both legs straight, shoulder drops to the thigh. Okay, now feet are going to turn out. Going to bend those knees. You can make goal pose here. And then knees and elbows are going to meet. Here, work on our squat, feet are about shoulder width apart. Okay, from here, we're going to bend the knees, reach forward, and then stand up. Okay, all right, now we're done with our dynamic warm up. We're going to start moving into our strength. So we're about 10 minutes in. We have 10 more minutes to go. All right, so the first exercise is going to be a push-up hold. We're going to hold for 30 seconds. Gag some water if you need it. We're going to start in about five seconds, four, 
three, two, one. Okay, hold. If you want to bring the knees down or the forearms down, make sure the upper back is rounded. Tuck your pelvis, so squeeze your glutes. Don't let your hips drop and don't let your hips go up too high. Hands under the shoulders, tuck your chin. Long exhales in through the nose. Long exhale. Okay. Now we're going to go down to the forearms. We're going to thumbs up. Same thing, you can go on the knees or off the knees. We're going to go 30 seconds and hold. Ready? Go. Just try to inhale through the nose. Long exhale out. So about 20 to 30 seconds. Same core here, squeeze the glutes around the upper back. Don't want the hips sag down or go up too high. From here, move to the side, sideline position, bend the knees. And from here, we're going to abduct or open up that top hip and then relax. Then, what we're going to do is push into the ground so the hips are off the ground, and we're gonna open up that knee. Bring your head back, hold. And then come back down. One more up, hold. And down, and switch side. Bend the knees, hips up. Open up the hip, hold. Come back down, one more up. Hold. Good. All right, now we're gonna to move to our back. From here, we're gonna bring our hands forward. Okay, we're gonna challenge our wrist, strength, shoulder, mobility. Here. And then come back down, one more. Good. From here, we'll lay on our back. We'll tuck those toes, or sorry, flex those toes so they point toward the ceiling. We're gonna pull one knee toward the chest. And then we're gonna go one knee hip lift, or you can do two leg hip lift, okay? And hold five seconds, four, three, two, down. One inhale and exhale, then back up, hold, five, four, three, two, and down, and then switch, up, hold, one, two, three, four, down, take a breath, and then up, hold, one, two, three, four, and five. Now two-legged, up, hold, one, two, three, four, five, down. Now we're gonna do two legs and then we're gonna walk it out nice and slow. So we're gonna go up, toes up, step small to the right, small to the left, small to the right, small to the left. One more, and then reverse it until you can get all the way back up. Try to keep those hips up and then come back down. From here, open the knees, pull those knees toward the shoulders, but keep your hips on the ground. And keep your butt on the ground. From here, cross one leg over, reach for the knee, switch. Here, both legs are up. Keep your lower back flat to the ground. Big exhale as you lower one leg. Big exhale. And then 
and switch. Four reps on. Big exhale as you lower down. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Roll to the stomach. You can go for five to ten push-ups or a push-up hold for five or ten seconds. You can always bring the knees down. Okay, now we're gonna go to the split squat. Tuck the toes, lean into that front foot, go straight up. Tap and go, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Now just regular squat. Let's step your left foot back. One, two, and then left foot forward. One, Two, wide squat, lateral squat, bend into one knee, one on each side. Okay, single leg reach, two on each side. Okay, take a quick breather. Couple inhales, couple exhales. Now we're going to go back to that half kneeling position. And go back to three reps for your split, split squat. One, two, three, switch side. Okay, we're gonna go to our bilateral squat. For three, we're gonna go to our push up for five or two. We're gonna go to our side plank. We're gonna go long lever this time, hold. Switch side, up, and down, now to the back, we go with a dead bug here, opposite arm, opposite leg reach. side relax almost done here just going to perform some shoulder slides reaching overhead inhale on the way down exhale overhead Press the back of the hand into the ground as we reach overhead. We try to keep your ribs and lower back down. Make field goal pose, same thing. Press, squeeze the fist. Press, press, press. Tee it out, press. And then all the way down, press. And relax. All right. So, there's your 20 minute workout. You can repeat, or you can go into some nice light stretches or perform some conditioning for 10 to 30 minutes. All right, thanks.